Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Julia Miazen. I'm a designer from UX Papercuts team. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, the concept of what if. Uh, do you feel like you're losing your some design skills? Um, because I do. <laughs> and I think it's uh, kind of fine uh, because there are plenty of different design skills. Uh, this is just part of them, and uh, we just can't uh, use them all the time because um, most of the time we do um, similar tasks for our one area of the project, and uh, we just can't do all of these tasks at once uh, because, for example, we have uh, our design system, so we, we shouldn't think about uh, components. Uh, we shouldn't think about uh, colors, icons, and other stuff. Also, we have uh, our writers and uh, researchers, so they can help us. And uh, we just use some of our design skills, and um, others just fade in away. And uh, I feel it, like for myself. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, the concept of uh, what if. Uh, this is the game that I want to play with you. Uh, I need, like, uh, not today, <laughs> uh, in the future. I need just uh, a few more people because I can't play it uh, just by myself. Uh, I want to repeat it uh, once uh, in a few months, for example, once in a quarter or maybe once in two months. Um, I want to take just one task for this game and uh, try to... Uh, practice uh, one or five different skills. For example, how can we play? Uh, we just think, uh, what if GitLab was made for kids? How can we change our interface to <laughs> make it more for kids? Uh, for example, we can play with uh, icons, uh, we can create something more simpler than we have right now, like everything for kids. Uh, for example, what if GitLab uh, has uh, my perfect dark theme? Because uh, everyone has something different. Uh, for example, someone uh, likes um, dark theme from Notion, somebody likes uh, Google dark theme or something like this. And we can just try to create something perfect for us. Uh, what if GitLab has a user dashboard? We don't have it right now, but we can imagine how it look, could look. Uh, what if GitLab has a simpler product creation or group creation or user creation workflow? Uh, what if GitLab has uh, Easter eggs? Because some projects have, we can also try to create something like this. And uh, what I wanna do, like uh, not think like uh, we do it right now. Like, um, what if we want to create a feature for GitLab? So we have uh, our developers, we have design system, we have uh, our plans and uh, everything. And uh, we can't push these boundaries. We just live within them and it's fine. But for this activity, I want to imagine like we don't have all of these boundaries. We don't have developers or have like, you no. Know, <laughs> they can do anything. Uh, we don't have design system. We don't have uh, plans, nothing. We just can create something unusual to practice and uh, do something that we can't do at our you know day-to-day -day job. Uh, for example, what if GitLab uh, was made for kids? Uh, we can try to create a new layout, simpler layout, bigger, brighter. Uh, we can play with typography, color, writing, icons, illustrations, everything. Uh, for dark theme, we can practice in color and the UI uh, because we don't do it usually. Uh, and uh, for user dashboard, we also can create something, something interesting. We don't have it right now. We can just imagine if our users want something like this, what can we show to them? How can we show it? And uh, what layout can we use, uh, UI, uh, what uh, features can we add there? 
uh, for workflows, we also can think um, like, how can we simplify it if we don't have any restrictions, just like we can create, uh, you know, like a perfect workflow for users, like do everything with just one button click and nothing else. And uh, for example, with Easter X, we can just practice our creativity and create something that we don't have right now. And uh, maybe we won't have any anything like this, <laughs> but uh, we can just practice and uh, create something that we can create uh, within our planning issues. Uh, how it worked before, because I tried to play this game with my ex-colleagues uh, like during the last five years or so, and how we did it uh, before, because it was synchronous, it's kind of different. Uh, we tried to uh, do an intro, like the host brings uh, the task, for example, what if GitLab uh, was made for kids, and uh, present this idea. We just uh, discuss a little bit, and then during the day, we do our designs separately. Then uh, we uh, see each other and discuss. We get some critiques. And uh, then we uh, continue working on our designs, finishing them, and prepare a presentation, a short one. And at the end of the day, we just uh, discuss all of this and uh, see your small presentations of your ideas. And uh, Right now we work asynchronously. So uh, what I want to try to do, uh, I want to uh, do this activity during three days. And uh, in in the morning, uh, host just post a short video with explanation what the idea is, uh, why, what can we do, and all of this stuff uh, in the Slack channel and uh, share a Figma file where we all going to work. Uh, during this first day, uh, every attendee uh, just spent uh, two or three hours uh, doing designs. Uh, next day, uh, all of these attendees uh, should uh, sh show their drafts. For example, they can uh, record a short video or do small presentation or just uh, prepare a Figma file where they uh, explain what's going on there. Uh, and during Second day, uh, everyone just uh, discuss and uh, ask some questions. Um, and uh, during the last day, uh, we just finish our designs and uh, post a short presentation video or something like this in the channel and uh, do a short retro. Uh, why I want to try to do this? Uh, for First of all, train skills that I can train uh, during my day-to-day -day tasks. Uh, gain new skills, uh, work as a design team, because uh, not many of, of us have another designers in our teams and we can't work together. Uh, also get inspiration. For example, you can just bring your task that you have right now and try to imagine something that we can create and uh, create something more creative uh, than you would uh, create and uh, get some inspiration. For example, a foundation team can bring just a theme uh, about a dark theme and we can create something cool and they uh, will get some inspiration. Uh, also, we can practice in mentoring, uh, presenting our designs and uh, everything that, that we created before, and also try to uh, critique uh, each ideas. And uh, if you feel like you're losing some design skills, uh, because I do, uh, just join me on uh, Design What If channel. Uh, I created it uh, today, so they're just me and nobody else. So if you want to join me and uh, we'll find a date uh, when it's going to be uh, convenient for everyone and try to do the first game. What a great idea. 
Does anyone have any questions, comments, or thoughts? Is anyone allowed to join? Managers, designers? I would like to join. I think this sounds really cool. Yeah, and I also oh, like think not, not only designers, uh, also, I don't know, writers and managers, researchers, everyone can join and try to, um, you know, practice your skills. Awesome. Uh, does anyone have anything else they'd like to add before we adjourn and move on to the next uh, showcase? Erica's delight for uh, GitLab for Kids makes me think that should be the first one. <laughs> yeah. For a second, I thought that was a well-timed child that was giggling. <laughs> All right. I, I totally thought that too. I was like, was that yeah. was that a, a real child or was that? <laughs> right. like, that was too perfect timing. Time. Yeah.